are standing in front of Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel's home. Today is May 19th and you're watching Inside Out News. Since the clinics were open, I have been getting um, lots of support. At the clinic that I have been going to. And Emmanuel, we are going to keep on fighting. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep on pushing until we win this battle. Today kicks off the eve of the NATO summit here in Chicago, Illinois. We are standing in front of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's home where protesters gathered earlier today after they marched from a local park. About a thousand protesters gathered here. They sat on the street in front of the mayor's house and were demanding the reopening of the six of 12 city local clinics here in Chicago. How many clinics have been closed in the last couple of years or since the recession? Uh, well, just in the last few months, they've closed uh, six of the mental health clinics and they're preparing to uh, privatize all 12 of the uh, neighborhood health clinics. I may have closed six of our clinics and one of them is mine and we have people dying. Since April 9th, we got two dead and 15 admitted in the hospital. And that's why I'm fighting for my neighborhood, Logan Square, Northwest Mental Health. We're going to be hosting the NATO summit that is a war coalition that looks at the world and says, who can we bomb instead of saying, who can we help? And so we're here to say we want our resources to go to health care, to reopen the mental health clinics, to help people who really need the help and not to be killing people overseas. There are still a few protesters left behind me in front of uh, the mayor's home. There's no word yet on when they plan to leave. The police are still here as well, guarding his home. We had reports that there are also police officers in the backyard of the house as well. There has been no sign of the mayor at all today. Uh, but the protest today was very peaceful. The police facilitated the protests very well. According to one of the legal observers, there was no permit for today's march, but that did not deter the protesters and it did not seem to upset the Chicago Police Department. We will be back tomorrow with more reporting and live reporting. And you can find us on Twitter or Ustream or you can watch us on our website at insightoutnews.org. This is Margot Pies signing off for Inside Out News. Goodbye.